Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the Curve Transform tool. The transform, Curve Transform tool can be accessed under Curve Edit, and when you click and hold Add Points, it is the second tool to the right. So what you can do is use this tool to manipulate the curves. So let me just show you guys how to do that. So when you click on a curve, and it by default it is set to translate, and you can just use this to translate the curve as you can see over here. And you can also do a rotation. So as you can see over here, this was activated. So this becomes the center of rotation and this point over here becomes the, uh, the rotation point. So you can just drag it like this and depending on how you set it up, you can also click the manipulator here and you can change the axis in which it rotates. Now, these two are kind of redundant because you can always just rotate the curves using rotate like this, or you can also translate it if you go to a side view like this with a move. However, the third option does uh, is actually very helpful because if you go and you say rotate and scale, so let me just click on the option like this. It is, it functions as a sort of like a stretch, but it's a slightly different. So let me show you guys, or actually, let me just show you guys how to use this. So with the rotation and scale, basically it sort of proportionally retains the CV structure of this curve. So let's say a designer calls for this point to be moved up here. All you have to do is just click on the curve like this, close to the point that you want to manipulate, and just snap it, snap it right here like that. It retains the shape of the curve very well. Now, this is very helpful because let's say you have a curve. Actually, let me just copy and paste this and hide this. Let's say you want uh, the designer wants to move this point to here, although you have to pick this point, snap it here, and you have to pick this point and snap it over here. And those two doesn't exactly really relate and you have to manipulate a lot of points. And it takes a lot of time. So instead of doing this, all you have to do is just pick this one, transform curve, pick it like this, and it's easy. Now, it is very similar to the stretch tool. However, there is a little bit of difference. And let me show you guys how those two tools differ. I'm just gonna copy and paste this and I'm gonna just put it in a different layer like that. And let me just select a color for, I'm going to label this transform curve. Oops, let me just fix the spelling over here. And I'm going to label this stretch. Okay, so, and I'm going to color this one red so that it's easier to see. Okay, so we got the two curves over here. So I'm going to use the transform curve over here like this. And I'm going to use the stretch tool over here to snap it like this. You'll see the CV structure difference and the resultant curve is a little bit different. Now, this is because how it's calculated. Now, in a very minor situation where you're just transforming this from here to here, it this is not going to make too much of a difference. The variation, let me just do a measurement. To curve to curve, it is only 0.6 mils over a curve that is, let's see how long this curve is. Yeah, over a thousand mil and you know, it, it, the difference between the two is point, uh, point 0.5 or point 0.6. So it doesn't really create much of a difference, but let's say you have a very, actually, let me try a curve that is a little bit more shape. So let's say I have this curve over here. I'm gonna put this one over here and I'm gonna copy and put it one over here. Okay, so I'm just going to use the actually transform curve tool like this, and I'm going to do the same thing with a stretch. 
Now, it does create a little difference. Um, it is a calculation difference. The two, the two tools are a little bit different. So this is the difference that it makes. Now, depending on the situation, it might make a big difference, but it might not. It's just a matter of preference. So, but either tools uh, allows you to achieve a very quick transformation. So this is how you use it. Okay, so that's the curve transform tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.